In Senses 1, we looked at the basic way that sensors behave electrically and how the computer might be able to use those values to work out what's happening. In Senses 2, we looked at various types of sensors to see how we could use those and how they operated. In Senses 3, we're going to look at how a computer, which only uses ones and zeros, can work with numbers bigger than one and a range of different numbers that the sensors might report. So how does a computer make sense of voltage? Computers are basically a whole bunch of switches which can be on or off. That's why we have to work with binary, one or zero. But sensors produce a varying voltage depending upon whatever it is that they're sensing. And variation is analog and computers are digital. So to translate an analog number, say, that might vary between 0 and 8 into the binary system that the computer understands, we have to take a small excursion into maths land. So let's see. So how many stars are there in the Southern Cross constellation? Okay, fairly easy. There's five. But how do we communicate fiveness? We could use tally marks or we could use the numeral five, or we could use the word five, or we could use the word five in French. Each of these things describes fiveness. We've still got the same number of stars. But we're used to represent counting by what mathematicians call base 10, probably because we've got 10 fingers, although some indigenous peoples use base five, five fingers, one hand, and sometimes other bases as well. The base 10 system means that we use 10 numerals to count, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we start a new column and set the original to 0. So if we want to represent 100 in base 10, it's 100, 0 10s and 0 1s. It's fairly straightforward. The base 2 system means that we use two numerals to count, 0 and 1, and then we start a new column and set the original to 0. So 1, 0, 0 to the base 2 is 1, 4, 0, 2s, and 0, 1s. And 1, 0, 0 in base 2 represents the decimal number 4. So using the example from before, a value of 8 in our familiar base 10 is translated to a value of 1000 in base 2, or binary. We can now present our sensor output to the computer in a language that it understands, as long as we do the conversion. And that conversion, surprisingly, is called an analog to digital converter. So it will take the value of say 8, maybe 8 volts, I don't know. 8 base 10 we've already seen is 1000 0, 0, 0 to the base 2 and 5 in base 10 is 0101 0, 0, 1 in the base of 2. So a computer can use 4 bits of information or 4 switches which can go between 0 and 1 to represent numbers up to eight. In these videos we've looked at the Australian curriculum content descriptors for 3, 4 and 5, 6 and 7, 8 that are on your screen now and you can see the relationship between what we have looked at in each of those three videos and the increasing level of sophistication in looking at data and how we can garner it from year three through to year eight.